hello everyone in this video we are going to solve question number 6 to question number 10 of quantitative aptitude section of cat 2008 i suggest everyone once i display the question pause the video solve that question by yourself and then continue with the video so let's start with question number 6 question number 6 in a triangle ABC, the length of sides AB and AC equals to 17.5 and 9 cm respectively. Let D be a point on the line segment BC such that AD is perpendicular to BC and AD is equal to 3. So first of all, let's draw the diagram over here. The diagram is going to be like this. AD is perpendicular to BC. So this is triangle ABC and this is point D. The length of AB is 17.5, the length of AC is equal to 9 and the length of AD is equal to 3. Then what is the radius of the circle circumscribing the triangle ABC? So basically over here we need to find the radius of a circle which passes, which passes through all three vertices of a triangle means we need to find circum radius. So to find circum radius we can take a help of the formula to find area of triangle. The formula is product of all three sides. The product of all three sides divided by 4 into circum radius. This is the formula to find area of triangle in terms of circum radius. Now you can also find the area by using half into base is BC into height is AD which is 3. So if you see over here this BC and BC will get cancelled out. So we left with what? Let's have a look at it. We need to find the value of R. The value of R is going to be how much? 17.5 into 9 into 2 divided by 4 into 3. This is going to be our answer. So let's solve this further. So 2 2s are 3 3s are. So this is going to be how much? 17 into 3 51 plus 1.5. That is 52.5 divided by 2. This is going to be 26.25. So the answer of this question is E. Question number 7. Suppose the seed of any positive integer n is defined as follows. Seed of n is equal to n if n is less than 10 or in other case when n is greater than or equal to 10 the answer is going to be seed of s of n where s of n is equal to sum of digits of n. For example seed of 7 is equal to 7. Seed of 248 is equal to seed of 2 plus 4 plus 8 that is seed of 14 which is equal to seed of 1 plus 4 that is equal to seed of 5 that is equal to 5. For example, let's take one more example. If I take n is equal to let's say 2007, 2000 and let's say 38. So the seed of n is going to be how much? 2 plus 0 plus 3 plus 8 which is equal to 8 plus 3 is 11 plus 2 is 13 which is equal to 1 plus 3 which is equal to 4. So over here I can see that the seed of 2038 is equal to 4. So basically we need to keep adding the digits till we don't get a single digit result. So the question says that how many positive integers n less than 500 such that s of n is equal to 9. So let's have a look at it. So the first case over here first case is where n is a single digit number. n is a single digit number. In that case seed of n is equal to 9 this is going to happen when n is equal to 9. So over here there is only one possible number. In the second case, if n is a two-digit number, if n is a two-digit number, let's call that two-digit number as a, b, everyone. So over here, this a plus b is supposed to be how much? This a plus b is supposed to be 9 or it can be double 9 or it can be 18 as well because if a plus b is equal to 18, 1 plus 8 
will give you 9 or this addition can be 27 because 2 plus 7 will give you 9 or this addition can be 36 because 3 plus 6 will give you 9 and so on. But AB is a two digit number and the sum of its digits, the maximum sum of its digits is going to be 9 plus 9, 18. So sum 27, sum 63 is not possible over here. So AB is a two digit number in which sum of digits is 9 or 18. It means what we can conclude is AB is a number which is multiple of 9. So which numbers are multiple of 9? Which two digit numbers are multiple of 9? Let's have a look at it. 18, which two digit number? So 18, 27, 36 and so on. Till 99. These are how many numbers? 9 into 2 to 9 into 11. These are total 10 numbers are there. Now let's have a look at case number 3. Where n is a three digit number. Let's call it as ABC. In this A plus B plus C, this addition is supposed to be how much? This addition is supposed to be 9 or this addition is supposed to be 18 or this addition is supposed to be 27. Can this addition be 36? No. The maximum possible addition is 9 plus 9 plus 9 that is equal to 27. So over here ABC is a three digit number in which sum of digits is 9 or 18 or 27 because 1 plus 8 is 9, 2 plus 7 is 9. So ABC, this addition is multiple of 9 means ABC is a three digit number which should be multiple of 9. So basically in short instead of counting now separate multiple of 9s so what we can do is in short if we combine case 1, case 2 and case 3. Which number satisfies this condition? All the numbers which are multiple of 9 satisfies the given condition. So our final answer is going to be how much? Final answer is going to be 9 into 1, 9 into 2, 18, 9 into 3, 27 and so on. Till 9 into which number? 9 into 55 will be 9 into 55 this multiplication 9 into 50 is 450 plus 45 945 no 495 yes these many numbers which are below 500 satisfies the given condition these are the numbers which are below 500 and multiple of 9 so our answer is going to be 55 there are 55 such a numbers after this question number 8 question number 8 says that f of x is a function such that f of x into f of y is equal to f of x into y where x and y are real numbers we know f of 2 is equal to 4 then we need to find the value of f of 1 divided by 2 so let's have a look at it f of 2 is equal to 4 so what we can do is and f of 1 is f of 1 by 2 we need to find so what we can do over here is Let's write, we can write 2 as 2 into 1. So f of 2 into f of 1 is equal to f of 2 into 1 that is 2. So from this we can conclude that f of 1 is equal to f of 2 divided by f of 2. So from this we can see that the value of f of 1 is equal to 1. After that. After this, we need to find the value of f of 1 by 2. So, what we can do over here is, let's have a look at it. So, now f of 1 by 2. Let's write, we can write 2 as 2 into, or we can write 1 as 2 into 1 by 2. So, from this, what we can conclude is f of 2 into f of 1 by 2 is equal to f of 1. From this, we will get f of 1 by 2 is equal to f of 1 divided by f of 2. So our final answer to this question is going to be what? f of 1 is 1, f of 2 is 4. The 1 divided by 4 is the answer here. Now let's have a look at question number 9. 
how many integers greater than triple nine but not greater than four thousand it means we are talking about from one thousand to four thousand can be formed with the digits 0 1 2 3 and 4 if the repetition of digits is allowed we are allowed to use the digits 0 1 2 3 4 repetition is allowed how many numbers are there in this range so let's have a look at it over here the first place it can be 1 it can be 2 it can be 3 it cannot be 4 yes it can be 4 but it is only for one number that is 4000 is the only number in which first digit is 4 so let's keep it separate so now the first digit can be 1 or 2 or 3 there are three choices over here now for the second place third place and fourth place there is no any condition the repetition is allowed so all five digits can come over here all five digits and all five digits can come over here so our answer is this is 125 into 3 that is equal to 375 plus 4000 is one of the number which satisfies our condition so final answer is 376 that is option D question number 10 what are the last two digits of 7 to the power 2008 so over here concept is if a unit digit of a number, if unit digit of a number is 1 or 3 or 7 or 9 to the power multiple of 20, the last two digits are always 0, 1. So over here and one more property you can say that the last two digits of a number A to the power multiple of 20 plus K multiple of 20 plus b the last two digits of a to the power 20k plus b is going to be same as last two digits of a to the power b because in case of last two digits the maximum length of cycle is 20 the length of cycle is going to be 20 or factor of 20 so we divide power by 20 so over here if you want to find the last two digits of 7 to the power 2008 it is going to be same as 7 to the power divide power by 20 the remainder is 8 so our answer is going to be same as 7 to the power 8 now we know that 7 to the power 4 is how much 7 to the power 4 is 2401 so 2401 bracket to the power 2 we are dealing only with last two digits so take only two last only last two digits that is 01 to the power 2 that is equal to 0 1 so the last two digits of 7 to the power 2008 is 0 1